might not reveal to you. But today we're going to have an exciting show. We hope you BYON. Right, Sophia? Bring your own napkin. Bring your own napkin because you're going to be drooling. We are making so many amazing things with all Kerrygold products. And we're so thankful that you drove all the way here. Did you know you can drive all the way to Ireland from here? That's what she had to do this morning. <laughs> it only took her four hours. No big deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> How was your trip, okay? Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. All right. Yes, honey. What? You're pointing at Rose? Do you want Jeremiah? Jeremiah's running the camera today, and he's going to be in the back doing his stovetop specialties. So he's going to get cooking on the bacon right away because we're going to be using bacon today. Mm -hmm. You like bacon, Rose? Love bacon, yeah. I think bacon and cheese are two things that married well together. Yeah, they do. Right? Cheese. Are you okay? How right. is this turning? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> so, Rose, I'm really thankful that you finally came. Rose and I met about two years ago, maybe? Yeah. A year and a half ago, a and, a and she was sampling Kerrygold, and I all of a sudden pounced upon you. Yep. And I said, oh my gosh, it's the girl from Kerrygold, I need my picture with you. Yes. You're famous in my mind. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and so then <laughs> I dragged her into a couple other things that we were doing with the celiac community, and did you did you have a good time learning about gluten-free and celiac and little yeah. things like that? I had a um, small understanding, but after doing the events, it really... Like, I, I know more about it than I... Yeah, and, and being that it's, you know, we used to think that it was just children suffering with it. Now we know that it's a lot more, but um, being that you have a carry bowl of cheese and butter, okay, go ahead. We know that in the gluten-free community, it's very big, and it's very well accepted because we know that it's grass-fed. We know that it's, you know, very whole and complete, and it's probably the best bet for cheese and butter that you can get yeah. in America now, which is very exciting because mm -hmm. we used to not be able to get it. Yeah. So they came across... Yeah, 10 plus years ago, um, we seen America as a, a really suitable market. Um, there wasn't the superior cheeses that Kerrygold is, um, right. and we just figured there was a space for the product. Absolutely. I, I think it's made a huge wedge, so to speak. <laughs> that's just my, that's my funny, funny for the day. Yeah. But when we first were introduced to Kerrygold, it's from my family, my husband's family that's Irish, and... I just fell in love with it, and I knew the cheese was very wholesome and good, and mm -hmm. I had allergies to other cheeses and had no allergies to Kerrygold, yeah. the butter or the cheese. So I was very excited. When I saw it at Costco, I decided to get a membership because I figured it's going to be well worth it worth for it. the price. Yeah, so the yeah. cheese and butter were the only two things that we were buying for quite yeah. a long time. So we're going to get started on an apple tart. Yeah. Now, I know this is probably not the typical apple tart that you're accustomed to, yeah. but we're incorporating the cheese and the butter to the crust. So this is going to be oh, exciting. Wow. All right, yeah. so Sophia, why don't you go ahead and get the apples, and you guys can start. Have you ever used an apple core and slices? No, I haven't. All right, so Sophia is going to show Rose how to do apple cores and slices at the same time. This is this is the Italian version of peeling and slicing and coring your apples. Okay. We like to bada bing, bada bing, get it all done at once. Hold on, Sophia, let's get a bowl here. While you guys are doing that, I'm actually going to make the crust for the um. You want to put this over there by your rose? That would be great. Thank you. I'm going to start making the crust. Are you ready? You ready to go? Go ahead. Start rolling. So once you put the apple yeah. on, this actually does all of the work for you. And you can just throw the skin in there, Sophia. This is actually coring it and cutting it and peeling it at the same time. So it's very cool. All right. So I'm going to get started on the crust. The crust is a very basic, simple pie crust. And my husband's grandmother taught me how to make this apple oh. tart. So the only thing I've messed around with is that I don't measure, mm -hmm. and I'm adding curry gold to it, which is going to be delicious. So we don't want to, we don't want to miss out. We can do that. Where did that one here? Okay. Go ahead, Sophia. Just back it up. Yep. Pull the lever and back it all up. All right. So for the crust, we're using a um, cup of our gluten-free flour. That's that. Yeah. You all right, Sophia? Yes. We're going to use about a, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And you guys know how I measure. This is the measuring that I do. That looks good. Is this it? Yeah. We have some ice water, and we need our butter, and we need our curry gold. We need, is this working? I'm going to jump over here and just grab this for you guys. How you doing, Sophia, right? Oh, uh -huh. good job, Rose. She's going, guys. She told me she likes to cook, so sometimes when we get people on the show, they're afraid to cook. We just have to force them into the factor right away. No wasting any time. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. All right, so we're using about two tablespoons of our Kerrygold butter. 
Now, Rose, I found it very interesting now to have new packaging, right? Yeah, that's our and stick butter. This is the stick butter, and it's in the form so that it's easier for baking. Yep. Right? Yeah. It's got the measurements. I really it. like that a lot. Although I had no problems with the butter before. Just eyeball it. Just <laughs> yeah. eyeball it. More the better. Yes. And butter makes everything better. I heard that before. Yeah. I've heard that a lot of times before. Yeah. All right. So, Sophia, go ahead. You're going to do the next one. Put the cores in the bowl, honey. Just throw everything in the bowl. And what I'm going to do is just kind of cut up the butter into the flour. I'm going to just cut this up. And I'm going to add it to the flour. You okay? You're doing a good job, guys. And then you guys are going to cut those apples right down the middle. Sophia will show you how to do that, right? Okay. I'm going to grate. We're using skellig for the crust. Okay, the sweet chatter. It's sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. a little sweet chatter, and it really tastes delicious in the pie crust. So if you've never tried it before, you definitely want to go ahead, you. grab yourself some skellig, and put it into the pie crust. You can do so many things with it. It's just not for cheese and crackers and grapes. It's for a bunch of other things. All right, so I'm going to grate about four ounces in there. Gluten-free dad is home today. He only is home because we're having delicious food with Kerry Gold in it. And he found that his peaks were going to be here, so he decided to join us, right? Got your Irish peaks here today? So, Rose, what part of Ireland are you from? So, I'm from Cardi Androm. It's um, 20 minutes from Belfast. It's a town called Randallstown. Oh, okay. So, anybody watching that you want to say hello to today? Yes, yeah, so my mother, my father, and oh, my brother, nice. Liam, are watching. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, we have a Liam, too. Yeah. Hi, guys. Thanks for letting Rose come on the show today. Thanks. We hope you guys enjoy it. And when she gets back to Ireland, she's going to have to make these special treats for you. We can't let her get away with not making them, right? No, You're going to yeah. have to bake for your family, family now. Dinner. Yeah. All right, so we put about about three to four ounces of the skellig in the crust here. No. I'm going to do a pinch of salt. You guys okay? Don't touch the lever, honey. It's sharp. Don't touch the lever. It's good Go ahead. All right, and I'm just breaking up the butter in here into the dough. So all I have in here is flour, baking powder, a pinch of salt, the Kerrygold butter, and the Kerrygold cheese. How are you guys doing? All right, well, you guys are doing a good job on the apples there. Okay, cool. I'm going to just add the ice cold water to it. About a quarter of a cup to half a cup. Mix it up. Now, Sophia, you can remove this, throw these in the trash, and then do the cutting of those. Rose, what we do is, since it's already sliced and skinned and everything, of course, it's very easy. Yep, we'll take that away, Rose. Yes, Thank you. Go to the other one, please. So we just cut it in half right down the middle there, and then the bowl that Sophia will bring back to you, we're going to put those apple slices in the bowl and sprinkle them with a little bit of sugar, which is almost what I forgot in the crust. Not that you really need it, but... Yeah, go ahead. Get the cutting board. We need about two tablespoons of sugar. I put always that. Get the cutting board, Sophia. It's right over there. All right, so we just have a very simple pie crust here. And we're going to get this hopefully into the oven so we can show you how delicious this is going to be. So, Rose, how long have you been working for Carrie Gold? And it's the Irish Dairy Board. Have they changed your name, or is um, that another? It used to be the Irish Dairy Board. Now it's Ormia, North America. Okay. And when did that happen? So that happened at the end of 2015. Okay. Yeah. Well, was there a purpose for that, or was it just because it's more than just the Irish Dairy Board? Um, it's because the company more. has always been a co-op, but it wasn't very clear with the Irish Dairy Board. And I mean, it's clear now what the farmers are doing in Ireland if it's Ormia. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. And now, how does that, um, does that change that there are more things available now, or is it just... The same products, yeah. Same products, okay. Yeah. And how long has, have they been, well, I mean, how long has Carrie Gold been around? For forever? <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've been with the company now nearly two years, so they've been here 15 plus years. Wow, that's incredible. And then it really does come from dairy farmers in Ireland. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people put stuff on their packaging that's just not the truth. Yeah. And this is a true Irish product that's imported to America mm -hmm. from cows that are grass-fed. Yep. And so the farm, that. the Irish farm size in Ireland would be 50 cows. Um, and the cows are out on grass 300 days plus a year. And then when they're not out on grass, they're given um, silage, which is a fermented grass. Really? So they're not given... Um, 
GMO products or grain wow. or yeah, it's all natural. So what is the what is the what is the grass fermented grass? So so like they they have a grass that they make sure they take care of. Yeah, so they the cut it and then they bind it with um, black wrap, so it turns into silage. Wow, that's so, so they have that in the winter months. And then in the summer, I love the um, the soft serve one that's in the tub. Oh, uh, they yeah. have a BJ's, and it has the little story on top, which we'll show you later because I want to read it too because yeah. it's just so clever and cute. Yep. Yeah. All right. So here's our duck. Is our crust? So if you take those out, we're gonna actually get that plate ready. All right, Rose. So to make a crisp apple tart, we have to wet the pie plate oh. and sprinkle it with sugar, and that makes a really nice crispy crust on the bottom. Okay. So you can actually do that if you're if you can get messy. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We need a bigger bowl for that. We can't do it in there. All right, so here's the, I'll take this. Here's the plate, so just, here's the ice water. So just, if you don't mind getting your fingers wet, rub the plate with the ice water, sprinkle it with sugar. Sophia, that bowl is just about the same size, but you know what? Just put that, just do half and half. I'm going to actually roll out the dough. So I have the dough here, and I have, you want to feel that, Rose? Feel how nice that dough is. Nice and soft. Thank you. So I'm going to actually just break it in half because we're going to do half on top and half on the bottom. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to roll it out on plastic because we all know gluten-free baked goods. You have to do sometimes an extra step or two to make it come out good. We don't want it sticking to our bench, so we're going to just do it that way. I smell bacon, Jeremiah. How are you doing back there? Good. Good. I smell bacon. You guys can't smell it. I wish you could, but if you have your napkin, you'll be drooling. So just, you know, clean up the mess. All right, so I'm going to roll this out. And Rose, it's so easy to do on the plastic because you can just turn it and shape it and turn it, and you don't have to worry about it sticking and reflowering all the time. Yeah. So we just kind of roll it out into our round shape. Now, this one might be a little bit smaller. I only used a cup of flour. So two cups of flour would really fill that out and make it really lovely. So we're just going to have a small apple tart today, I guess. All right, and if you have any pieces falling off, you just paste them back together. Sophia, did you toss them with sugar? Yep. Did you do both bowls or just the one bowl? Did you do both bowls? All right, so Rose, now you're stationed in, in what part of the country? Uh, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., but you're going to? Yeah, so I'm moving to Chicago. You're allowed to say that. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. We can't get in trouble. So you're going to Chicago. Are you excited? Yeah, we'll be good. We're moving to head office, so they're based in Evanston. Yep. Very exciting. What part of Chicago? Um, Evanston. Oh, okay, that's what you just said. I gotta get, you know, the accent. I need my translator on here. <laughs> my Irish translator's here for me today. All right, so we're just going to kind of push that into shape. What was, like, the most exciting thing? Well, when you found out you were going to work for Kerry Golden, and that's a big deal. Yeah. It's a huge company, and it's and it's a great company to work for. I've always heard good things about it. Yeah, no, they treat their employees really well. That's so awesome. Yeah. So was, were you, like, totally and completely excited when you got the job? Yeah, I was really shocked. Um, you shocked? Really shocked, yeah, because, like, when you're on and you just, um, you think that the company's based in Dublin, like, you don't think they have the larger... Considering, oh, right. um, okay. so yeah, I kind of thought I would get a job in Dublin, stay in Ireland, but then the opportunity to work in Washington came up, so I was like, yeah, it's meant to be. Wow, that's so awesome! So you got your passport and off you went. Yeah, my bees then, yeah. And did you make a lot of friends while you were here? Hopefully, yeah. Other than the crazies like me that come and get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you don't mind, apples to the middle there, and just kind of make a nice pretty shape. Sophie, you can really help her. Well, it's up to you, really. Okay. Sophia it does the fan. She's very particular. Okay. But you can do what you want. Okay. I'm going to roll out the second piece of the dough. And this is like the easy part. They're doing the hard part because I don't like to do that. Rose is probably good at it. She said you like to cook, right? Yeah, well, I try to cook. What do you like to cook? Um, what would yeah, you I like baking, like baking bread. Oh, and stuff. really? Nice. So, are you making Irish soda, soda bread this year? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, nice. Brown bread. Okay, so we didn't do that recipe purposely because the Irish have perfected it. The Italians are not going to mess around with it, and that's what I always do when I make it. So, we'll see yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> My mother-in-law, we had them on the show last year. My mother-in-law, father-in-law, and they made Irish soda bread. So you can go watch that old episode. And you can get the recipe there for her version. Now, do you 
Do you have particular flour that you like to use when you're making your soda bread? I would use whole wheat flour, like brown flour. Okay. Yeah, and and is it a particular, like, is it from Ireland or? Yeah, or Lebanese, I would use. Oh, it's the odd ones. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. I've dealt with it. I'm done with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, since we can't eat wheat anymore, we don't. Oh. But when we first started making Irish soda bread yeah. with my, your grandma, actually, that was the only flour that she would use. We had to yeah. go up to this Irish store to get it, or they would have it shipped. But now we can get it in like Vitamins yeah. yeah. and Whole Foods. Yeah. They all have those kind of things now. All right, so we're going to, Sophia, put these two over there, please. And we're going to put the top of our pie crust on. It's our apple tart. And I know I keep saying pie crust, but it's because I'm making pie crust. All right, so I'm just going to flip that over. And I'm just going to pull the plastic back, see how easy that is. We don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to actually just pinch these in here. And then, Rose, what you're going to do is another water and a little bit sprinkle of sugar on top. Okay. And Sophia, you can actually poke some holes in the top there. Now it's up to you. You don't want to poke the holes in the top. You'll get a much softer apple slices inside. If you want to poke the holes in the top, they'll stay a little bit crispier because it'll release that steam. And then the dough can crisp up a little bit. So it's totally up to you. Holes or no holes, it's up to you. All right, so more water and a little bit more sugar on the top, and we're done with that. Okay. So then we're going to move on to our second recipe. No, just about eight or nine pieces is good. Let me get rid of this stuff here. We're going to need that cutting board again, I believe, Sophia. So now, Rose is making apple tart. How often do you do this? Oh, well, like every Sunday at home, we used to make it for Sunday dinner. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. So now you're making it for us and you. Yeah. And she did a wonderful job. Look at her. I got to show her, buddy. Let me just do some holes first. Sophia, would you hold this up to show everybody, or Robert, maybe you can do it. We want to show everybody what Rose made today with her <laughs> skeleton and the Irish butter. Look at that. It's gorgeous, right? That's going to go in the oven, 375 for about 25 minutes. Do you want to take that back to him for me, please? Thank you. All right. And then, here we go with our next recipe. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, so our second recipe, we're going to be making our Irish poppers. Do you know what Irish poppers are? No, I don't. Okay, so we're, we just made that up, but we're going to be yeah. making Irish poppers. So, Pete, you want to get some stuff for me? Yes, you got it, girl. You're the best. All right, so for the Irish poppers, we need some items that Rose brought for us. So today we're using the wedges. Yep, our new product. This is, this is Sophia's love. It's her love. And we are going to be giving away... Yeah, Something exciting. I, can't, I don't even know if I should tell you because I want to keep it for myself. Can I do that? No, I can't do that. All right, so we're going to be giving away a hamper full of all different select cheeses. Is yeah, that correct. Our six fit cheeses and our butters. Are you guys hearing me right now? Okay, so what should we do for the contest? We have to think of something. We have to think of maybe the first person to make a recipe and tag us in their post. Yeah. And tag Carrie Gold. We're going to send you a hamper full of all these delicious cheeses. But this is the deal. It has to be in the U.S., right? Mm -hmm. okay. And you have to have a real name and a real address. I can't do P.O. boxes because it just makes everything hard for everybody. So a real name, a real address, no vulgarity, no dirty pictures, none of that stuff. This is family friendly. Don't post on our Facebook page anything crazy like that. So we're going to give away a hamper basket full. Check our Facebook page. We'll run the event all the way until St. Patrick's Day. Yep. And then, what are you doing? You can't do that. You can't do that when we're making for other people, Philly. Go ahead. You go and eat that. Go ahead. Go eat that. Yeah. You go ahead and eat that. All right. So what we're going to do for the Irish poppers is this is our version of jalapeno poppers. Okay. But just in that we're making it Irish style. So what we're doing by making it Irish style is we're doing four ounces of these, which actually, Miss Rose, you can help with that. Okay. So, Sophie, you can go ahead and wash your hands. Go ahead and wash one your more. hands. One more of those, and we're going to use the Dubliner for this one. Now, you can mix up the cheeses if you like and do whichever ones that are pleasing to your palate, but we're going to use Dubliner. Dubliner was our first love, so we're going to stick to it. Yep, we need that. What we're going to do with the poppers is we're going to mix the cheeses all together. Sophie, I'll break because I don't want you to do that. I've got all the now, honey. We're going to mix the cheeses together. Here, Pia, put this in there. Sophia's going to mix them, and we're going to add 
just a little bit of spirulina. Have you ever tried spirulina no. before? Okay, this is, mommy will do this, okay? This is a sea vegetable and it's just really to turn a green color. Oh, okay. So in order to make our green, you know, our Irish poppers yeah. green and St. Patty's Day focused, we're adding a little bit of natural green to it instead of food coloring. Okay. So we're gonna just add a little bit of spirulina. It's just a sea vegetable and it's really, it'll actually stain your skin if you leave it on long enough. So we're going to put that away. I'm going to wipe my hands off. And I'm making a mess over here. But we're going to add a little bit of jalapeno. Do you like jalapeno? Yeah. Have right. you ever cut it before? No. Can I put you to work? Yeah. Or would you rather mix it? I don't want to. I can. All right, Sophia, let her have the cutting board. Okay. Sophia, we have a little bit of a mess today, huh? Let's put this over here. And all I'm going to ask you to do is cut that into small little diced pieces and we're going to add that right into here. Do we keep the seeds? No, we'll take the seeds oh. out. You want me to do it? No. Okay. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it into breadcrumbs, then egg, then breadcrumb. And we're going to let that harden up in the freezer. Luckily we have everything already ready. And we have our fryer ready on 375 and we're going to deep fry those poppers and they're going to be really yummy. So if you've had poppers in America, it's like half of a jalapeno with cheese and stuff on it and then breadcrumbs and they dip the whole thing in and it's so yummy. We used to have them at our restaurant. Yeah. But being that we like to make our things a little bit different and we wanted to make a little St. Patty's Day excitement with Carrie Gold, right? That we're doing these little Irish poppers. So I'm going to get this stuff ready. All right. So today we have Josie's coat of oats that we're using. These are just oat flour with herbs and spices and actually oats. She sent them to us, so we're very thankful that we get to use these on the show. So we're going to put a bowl full of the, of the breadcrumbs, and we have our egg that's ready to go and eaten. I'm going to just feed the egg up a little bit. Oh, you're doing good, girl. Thank you. We have our egg here. Now, what would you eat on a regular day when you're home, when you're with your family? Would you have, um, does your family have a farm or any kind of... Like, yeah, we have horses at home. So, yeah, I miss them not being Oh, there. my goodness, Rose, wait till Sophia hears this. Yeah. Sophia, she has horses. Yeah. What kind of horses do you have? Um, so we have a, a Welsh cob, and then we have um, a driving pony called Cheeky, and then she had a wee foal there about two years oh ago. Oh, my goodness. So we called him Blue. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We need to see pictures, right? Yeah. Rose will have to send us pictures when she gets home. So you went home for Christmas. Yeah, I was home for two weeks. It was lovely. All right, so what did you have to eat was more important. <laughs> yeah, so um, Daddy raises turkeys, so we had one of his... Wow, so you home. had a fresh turkey. Yeah. Oh my and we had stuffing and potatoes and tarts and parsnips. Oh, so you had like almost, you know, had an American yeah, almost. dinner. Yeah, almost. It's Except a bit, yeah, it's like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, I'm going to go get, and what did you have for dessert? Anything for dessert? Uh, we had trifle. Oh um, my goodness, my yeah. in-laws make that all the time. How do you guys make it? Um, so the trifle fingers, put raspberry jam on them, then use custard and cream, and then the fresh berries. Custard is yummy. Yeah. His, his grandmother taught me how to make the birds custard, right? Oh, um, you yeah. You always gotta have that with either the apple tart or, what else did she make with that? I forget. The scones. Yeah. I have scones with the custard on it and mm -hmm. some jam. Yeah. So you take cream. raspberry jam and you... Do it like this, or you layer it like that? Layer it, yeah. Uh, okay, now do you make that on your own? Yeah, I've tried to make it, yeah. Oh, very <laughs> good, good job. And so that was for dessert. That sounds yummy. Yep, and um, banana pie as well. And what is that? Um, so it's like your biscuit and butter on the base, and then you have bananas and caramel and cream. Wow, so did your mom make that? Yeah. Or, oh my goodness, good job, okay. mom. Yep. Send us the recipe and we'll make it on the show. <laughs> we want to make that, it sounds delicious. All right, so toss the jalapenos right into here. Okay, right, Sophia. And we're actually going to, Sophia, once you're done turning that a little bit, you think we have enough cheese in there? There's never enough cheese, really, but I'm saying that because I think we have a lot of people here today and we want to make sure we feed them all. We don't want gluten-free grandma to go hungry because then she won't clean up after us. Then we're in big trouble. If gluten-free grandma doesn't eat, she won't clean. <laughs> so we need her to clean up. All right, Sophia, that's great, honey. Let mommy do a real quick twirl. All right, so I'm just going to incorporate the two cheeses that we put in here. We put the Dubliner and we use the wedges, which we love the wedges. The wedges, you can eat the whole thing all by yourself, which we've done. 
Or you could spread them on crackers mm -hmm. and share them, which we seldom done. <laughs> or you could just hide them in the garage and go get them when you want one, which we always do. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our favorite things to do. All right, so I'm going to just do one rose, and then you and Sophie can do the rest. Yep. So we just scoop it out, and we have a nice little ball here. We're going to do breadcrumb, then egg, then breadcrumb, and then back onto the platter here. All right, Sophia, you and Rose can get going on that. And Sophia is already digging right in. She's not afraid to get her hands dirty. So, Rose, you can just help her that way, whichever you want to do. Okay. Sophia doesn't mind getting her hands dirty, and that's a good thing. And what I'm going to do, yeah, you can put them there. I'm going to get the ones, when we're done in a few minutes, I'm going to get the ones out that we have in the freezer. Mm -hmm. We're getting nice and hard so that breadcrumb can set. And I'm going to dunk them into the deep fryer for about two to three minutes. And we have a little drizzle on top, which we're not going to tell you what it is yet. You have to what? stay here. We're not going to tell them what it is yet. I don't know what it is. Oh, you don't know? That's good. Because then you always tell. <laughs> <laughs> no. You do. You always tell. <laughs> and I'm going to get started on our next item because they're working very hard doing these. We're calling them Irish poppers. We're coining the phrase. We're saying that that's that. And we want you to enjoy them. And we want you to try to make them at home. Because all you need really is the Dubliner wedges, which we like absolutely love these. When they first came to Whole Foods, we decided we we're going to go and just clean them out. <laughs> and then we went there one time and they had none. And I thought, oh my gosh, someone else came and cleared them out. So I asked the guy and he said, yeah, somebody came and bought a bunch of them. <laughs> so we had to go back. But now we have them a little bit closer to us at ShopRite, which is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our um, registered dietitian there, Giovanna, she helps us a lot, and she's always getting stuff that we really want. So she's very supportive. Oh, if we say we want this, we'll try to get it as best as she can. So we love that. And we have our little, you have your button on, Sophia? Sophia got to wear a Kerrygold apron today, which is very exciting, Rose. Thank no, you. No problem. Sophia brought it with her, and, you know, we promised we'll send it back I with her. No, I'm sorry. Rose brought it with her, and she let you wear it. But we have to get it back to her done. She has to go to New York. She'll be going. Uh-oh. You all right, Jeremiah? All right, so while they're working on the Irish poppers, now see how nice that green is? That's a natural color green without adding any food coloring, and it's not going to change the flavor really at all, and it's just healthy for you. The spirulina is a sea vegetable that actually will give you a little bit of protein. I think it's the protein, I can't remember, but anyway. She's rolling them in breadcrumbs and then egg and then back in the breadcrumb, and we're going to fry those in the fryer when after we chill them a little bit. Are you doing good? All right, so we're going to get started on, on number three. Number three is, this is going to be delicious. This I think you're going to absolutely love. But we need to get our West Bend out. Robert, can you hand me that West Bend, please? All right, so this is our vintage cooking gear that we have here. We don't leave home without it. Actually, we travel with this wherever we go. Because having food allergies, you have to be prepared to cook. And you can't cook in other people's equipment because you can have cross-contamination. Oh, really? So we take this everywhere we go, and this is how we travel, basically. Right, Ben? This is it. You need this, and you need this, and you're good to go. All right, so I'm going to put this on 350, and we're going to get started on making the, actually, the spread that's going to go inside our grilled cheese sandwiches. And this is going to be yummy. So are you almost ready, Sophia? Almost, right? You can put that away for now because we do have them made, remember? Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. <laughs> All right. You go ahead and clean up. I'm going to finish that real quick. And then we'll get rid of this because we have some ready to roll in the freezer. All right. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to make the artichoke spread. Now you guys had the artichoke spread on the back of your little stickers that you yeah. handed out one day. We kind of altered it a little bit because we wanted to add our little fling on it. We're going to make it, and we're going to put it on bread and grill it with the cheese. So we're going to make grilled cheese with bacon, avocado, and an artichoke spread. I know it sounds like a lot, but I think it's going to be delicious. Yes, thank you. So we actually didn't make this complete all together because we forgot to get the artichokes yesterday, so we didn't have enough to do one round. So we're going to make it one shot, one deal right now. Are you ready to make it, Sophia? You want me to get it? All right, look at you. Put it right here, honey, right here. Put it right here. Put it right here. There you go. Good. All right, so now the elements that we need for this artichoke is an onion, which we already did that because we don't need any crying on there. All right, we have the artichokes. We have some mayo. Sophia has 
Make your honey. Sophia has the delicious butter. And we have some garlic. So Rose, you're going to chop the garlic and the artichokes. And we're going to toss them right into a bowl. Sophia, leave that there, honey. everything up in a grater it's totally up to you but what we're going to do is just kind of make this spread then we're going to put it onto the bread and then we're going to add the bacon and the cheese and the avocado kind of mashed up on one side you okay honey yeah. all right so this is what i was talking about this little butter tub yeah. the story on the top is and i just love it it says in ireland cows graze in lush pastures on small family farms this milk is churned to make Kerrygold naturally soft butter, now more delicious, deliciously spreadable. Since cows are grass-fed, the milk Kerrygold cows produce is most abundant in naturally softer milk fat. And is naturally softer milk fat increased in the butter through gentle churning process that is the key to the enhanced spreadability. I love this. And it's mm -hmm. like only like a summer thing, I guess? I don't know, but yeah, it's, summer I mean, milk. Yeah. it's just really lovely and it's... It comes so nicely packaged with the plastic on the top and then the foil. But I keep the foil because I like to like read the little story. It's just so cute. And um, that may seem a bit large too. We have a smaller version of the stuff we have. This is not too big for us. <laughs> this is never too big for us. Yeah. She does have the smaller one. Where did I put that one? You brought it for me. I don't know where I put it. Yeah. But this one we they have at BJ's. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. where we usually that's go get it. For yeah. yeah. And then this to us will last not very long, Rose. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how many people are in your family, but we only have five, and this butter doesn't last very long. Yeah. And if you had my father-in-law over for just give him a potato in front of him, and this would be gone. Yeah, butter. So and because salt. a butter on every piece that he has to put in his mouth. So that wouldn't go very long. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do our artichoke dip. We have one can of artichokes that Rose is going to chop up and put in the bowl. You guys can't see her chopping if I cover her. With the bowl. You all right, honey? Yep. And we're going to add that. We're going to add half of this onion. Now, this was, this was one onion chopped up. It was a small onion. We don't want that much because we don't want that over that overpower onion flavor. So if it, no, 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 no. Half of this in the bowl. You missed the whole thing. You missed the whole thing. And don't cover Rose up while she's chopping, please. You gotta let her let her do stuff. Then she's gonna chop up the artichoke and put that right in the bowl. Okay. Now jalapenos we don't need for that because we're not making hot sandwiches today. We're just making hot sandwiches on the griddle. So we're gonna do about a cup to two cups of the mayo. Sophie, you wanna put that in there? Put this in there. Put the mayo in there, please. You know what, do, um, let me see, do one of those, that's enough, that's a big, big, big chunk. We're going to use this to stir it up. We're going to do some grated cheese. What should we use, Rose? Should we use the aged cheddar for this one? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's use the aged cheddar. We're going to grate this up. Sophia, let's get rid of things we don't use any. little grater. Now I've got my griddle heating up and we're going to get our bread ready. Oh, God bless you, honey. Okay. Oh, I need a knife. There we go. All right, so we're using the aged cheddar for the actual artichoke dip that's going to be turned into what is going to spread on our delicious bacon sandwich with grilled cheese. And some smashed avocado. It's going to be awesome. Right, hold on, honey. I think we should do a double dose of this. What do you think? We have so many in here, right? All right. So we've got about about four ounces of the cheese. This one is so smells so good. Oh, How much do we use of this? I just oh. love it. All right. So we're going to use all the artichokes. Yeah. I'm going to put some more mayo in there because I think it needs it. So another big scoop of mayo. There we go. Now we're going to just mix this up. We 
we've got the garlic in here, we've got artichokes, we've got mayo, and we've got our delicious Irish cheese. We used the aged cheddar for this one, so we're really, we're really grating everything here and just going along. And I'm going to just do a pinch of salt. You can add any herbs that you like to this. It's completely and totally up to you. If you want to put parsley, oregano, basil, you can make whatever you want. But why don't you stir that up and then I will get started on the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter the bread. So if you want to get the char bread, please. I'm going to butter the bread and we're going to put it down. We're going to put the dip on top like a shear. There you go. Girl, where's the scissors, honey? Go grab the scissors. This one is a new. Yeah, let me add that instead of balloon. So we're using char gluten-free bread, and that's actually when I met Rose. I was um, demoing for char that day. Mm. Not the bread, but other stuff. And we were at McCaffrey. Is that the name? McCaffrey's, yeah. Are you guys are so you have stuff in their store. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they had a big expo on um, like gourmet foods and stuff. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And we had we had um, I had went over to Rose and just battered her <laughs> until she gave me some cheese to take home. <laughs> I was actually sitting there sampling for quite a while. I didn't want to leave your room. Yeah, it was Very just popular. about the only thing I could eat when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to actually butter the bread. And for that, I'm going to use the softer spread. Now, you can use whichever one you like, but if you leave one of them sitting out, they will get nice and soft. Yep. But this is just really lovely. I mean, look at that color. You don't get that color in American butter ever. Yep. And the reason being... It's grass-fed cotton. It's grass-fed. So it's the beta carotene. It's the answer. Sophie, get rid of that, please. All right, so you guys can actually butter the bread. I'm going to do the first mm -hmm. one. You guys can take the butter and do that. And I'm going to actually put a little bit of sheer on that. Oops, sorry, Jeremy. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of that artichoke spread on there. Let me just put this here for a second. We need more space. We need more space, right? I'm going to spread that onto the bread. Jeremiah is going to bring me the bacon. And then I'm going to grate more cheese, which I can actually have you, Rose, yep. do that since Sophia's taken up all your action there. Mm -hmm. Don't put any more on for me yet. All right, so you know what? Let me get you something to put that on. Now, for actually grating the cheese for the grilled cheese sandwich, we can do a combo of cheeses if we yep. like. We can just do a little bit of everything. Sophia, we can do some... We can do some skelly. We can do some. Here, you want to do that? And let me just wipe that off. Let me just wipe off this right here. We got jalapenos. We're going to have hot, hot, hot sandwiches. All right, Sophia, I'm going to just stack these up, honey. We're too much space. All right, so what we have is the artichoke spread right on there. I don't know if you can see that. That has the mayo in it and has everything really yummy and delicious. We're going to add two slices of bacon. Maybe three. Blue and three grandma's like, give me more. <laughs> and we're going to let the other side grill with some cheese on it. As soon as Rose is ready for me, I'll take a little bit here. I'm going to actually put that on the top. Now, the one thing is that I love avocado on everything and so do my kids. But I can see how some people don't. So are you a fan of avocado? Yeah, or no? I love avocado. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to smash some of that right into the sandwich there. Sophia, bacon, baby, bacon. Mom's turn. Okay. What I'm going to do is cut the avocado as soon as I get this off. Keep them stacked up there so we have room, okay? You don't want to cram rose or me out. So these avocados are nice and ready. And I'm just going to take some and just smash it into there. And then I'm going to take some of the cheese and put it on the top. Hold on, Sophie, I'm not ready for that. And I'm going to top it off, and that's going to be amazing. All right, so next one down, Sophie, a good girl. So we need our artichoke spread. A little bit of that. Now, normally you would take this artichoke spread and bake it in the oven, and it gets a really nice golden brown and crispy on top. You can even put a little bread breadcrumbs on top of there. And then I'm going to take the bacon. 
We're going to do it again. And look at Rose has all that lovely cheese grated for us. Look at that, Sophia. Are you in heaven or what? We're going to take our avocado and smash that down. We are. <laughs> you guys are in heaven, right? This could be the sandwich of all sandwiches. You guys want to, like, this is going to be a delicious sandwich. We're going to take the cheese and put it right on the top. Now, normally you could just take cheese and just do cheese and it would be absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. But we thought we'd elevate it a little bit to a different level for you since you drove all the way. <laughs> yeah. You really had to make sure you had a good meal when you come. We don't want you to go hungry. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're going to let that cook. I'm going to let that crisp up. And we're actually going to get out our stuff to make something else. No, Am I working no. it too hard or no? No, no, it's great. One more thing. We have to do our Irish potatoes because they're just so much fun. And they're very, very yummy and delicious. And I think, Sophia, you could stop at that third sandwich. And then we'll start the Irish potatoes. What do you think? So we'll take this stuff away. We're going to just remove all of our cheese that we have here now. For the Irish potatoes, they're really actually very easy, but they're really a lot of fun. And they're very big in America at this time of year. Okay. So I'll take that from you. Thank you, Rose. Thanks. Thank you. Jeremiah, I need a clean bowl, please. Clean bowl for Rose. Thank you. The bread feels the same as it was. What did you say? The bread feels the same as, like it's as regular yeah. bread. Yeah, this is a nice bread. Um, this is the deli rye bread, which is the first bread that I ever ate after going gluten-free. It was the only bread that I can eat because a lot of them have other stuff in it that um, I have other allergies. But mm. So this is the one bread that when I'm going to have a sandwich, I'll have this one. Yeah. So it's pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that crisp up on the one side. I'm going to check it. I'm going to check this one since we put this one on first. We want that to get nice and brown. Look at that. It's going to be yummy. I really want that artichoke to kind of get warmed up over there, so I want to leave it as long as I can. So you can always turn things down. If you want yeah. them to cook longer and cook more thoroughly, you can always turn things down and let them go. All right, so we're going to do one more, and then we're going to make our Irish potatoes. Irish potatoes! And Rose never had one other than a real Irish potato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the one out of the ground, right? Mm -hmm. And those are so delicious. Yeah. You only need the Kerrygold butter to put on that and it's, it's perfectly amazing. delicious, yeah. yeah. Sophia, thank you. Gonna put the bacon on. Bacon. We're gonna add our, my family loves bacon and I feel bad sometimes <laughs> when people are like, I don't need bacon. I'm like, really? Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put our avocado down and we'll pick up that one piece that fell there. And then what do we do now, Sophia? Cheese. Cheese, right? Cheese. We need a little bit of cheese, or a lot, either way. Totally up to you. We don't want to ruin your cheese party, right? <laughs> we don't want to rain on the parade. All right, now what's next? You ready? Are you tired? Am I working everybody too hard here? <laughs> All right, let's move this out of the way. And Sophia, you can actually get started. We have some ingredients that you're going to need. Powdered sugar is essential to... The actual, okay, go ahead. Sorry. The actual, um, the little Irish potatoes. You need that for the Irish potatoes. So we have to get that with this. You have to sift the powdered sugar because you don't want any clumps in there because then it's going to be yucky and gross. So we don't want that. So we use about a cup of powdered sugar. It's supposed to be really two cups and I'm going to just like eyeball it. All right, so sift that out. And now we're going to use the butter, Kerrygold butter. Not this one, though. We need the harder one. Where's Jeremiah? All right. So we don't need the powdered sugar anymore. Get rid of that. And we're going to use the Irish butter. Sophia, you can actually do the measurements for me, okay? You're going to do two tablespoons of butter, which actually you may have that right here. We'll just put that all in there, almost all of it. Yep, put it right in there. And we need one and a quarter cups of coconut, so we need that. Thank you, honey. We'll put this back over here. And now we're going to use four ounces of mascarpone. Now this is... You could just dump it all in there. Yeah, just throw it all in there. 
This is my version of an Irish item that we're going to do Irish and Italian because that's what I'm Italian, my husband's Irish, so we like to blend the two together always. So we have some mascarpone cheese we're going to throw in there, about four ounces. Mm. Alright, so when, when you had um, your first, like, Demo, expo, yeah. whatever you want to call it. What what was your favorite thing about it? Did you like the mayhem and craziness? Or oh, yeah, like I love the interaction from the customers. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing the amount of people you have connections with Ireland. Um, oh wow, okay. Yeah. So did oh, you meet Yep, yeah, go ahead, put that all on. Did you meet a lot of people that were like, oh my gosh? Yeah, their family had originated from there or they still had family there. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. All right, we've got a really nice, delicious grilled cheese sandwich going here. And this is more like this is more like a dinner. Yeah, this is like it's massive. This is huge. We're gonna have to share these, right? We have so many people today, and we're gonna actually have a little bit of everything. Sophia, you're gonna actually, you guys can stir this up. Yep. You want to blend it all together. Oh, you got it. Rose is already comfortable here. She knows where <laughs> everything is. You can come back anytime. She can cook. She can laugh and she can eat, and I'm sure yeah. I'm that. To eating. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. It is about lunchtime, right? <laughs> yes. Sorry, honey. Let me move that out of the way. All right. So I've got the sandwiches on the grill. I don't know if you can see this, but look at that. Look at these sandwiches. It's like unbelievable. <laughs> They're gonna be awesome. I am going to actually put the Irish poppers in the fryer now because it's almost time to eat, mm -hmm. which is our favorite time of the day, actually. Time to eat, right, Sophia? Jeremiah, I need you to clean up some stuff a little bit, please. Get this stuff, this stuff off of here for a moment, please. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put the Irish poppers in, but I want to show them to you first before I, before I throw them in the fryer. You have a little snack. All right, I'll show them really quick. These are our Irish poppers. These are the ones that we turn green with the spirulina. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. So these are the ones that we got and made earlier to have them ready to go. These were the ones that we were testing yesterday, and some of them fell apart. Oh. So it's trial and error a lot of yeah. the time. You okay, Sophia? Mm -hmm. Take this. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to just throw these into the fryer. Thank you. Take that, that. These only have to go in the fryer for a very short time, otherwise they'll do like mozzarella sticks, and they just... So we don't want that to happen. We do want to have a little snack. All right? So I'm going to just throw these in. Okay. And we're just going to keep a quick little time on that. We have about one to two minutes in the fryer. Now our grilled cheese sandwiches are looking amazing. I'm going to flip them over one more time. I'm going to just check that. I want those artichoke and that mayo to get really soft and delicious. So I really want to just keep that going. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. How are you doing, right? Rose is mixing the, the Irish potatoes. Now, the funny thing is that you really kind of have to get your hand in there. Oh, your feet are But it's up to you. If you do not want to do it, it's totally okay. We can mix it. Just keep going softly. If you have a mixer, the ultimate thing is just to put it in a mixer or a food processor, one, two, three, and you're done. But you can use your hands, and that's totally fine. Yeah. Jeremiah, we need a uh, baking sheet with parchment on it, please. The Irish potatoes are a classic in America. When we worked on the boardwalk, we had a, our businesses in Seaside on the boardwalk. Yeah. The two sweet shops would sell Irish potatoes all day long during St. Patrick's Day, during the big parade, and then thereafter. And yeah. it was just something that everybody really enjoyed. A lot of the recipes have egg whites in them or other things, and we kind of just like to keep ours pure. Yeah. We, you know, the powdered sugar is to the extent of way more than I would ever put in there, but it's a necessity for that. Yeah. So you're just going to turn that a little bit, Sophia. You're going to actually get a pan ready for her with a piece of parchment in front. So we can roll them in the cinnamon, and we're going to just set them aside because they just go in the fridge and chill. That's oh. it. Nothing special. And is it only you and people at March time, or is it all year round? No, we really only have them during St. Patrick's time. Yeah, like a few weeks before and a few weeks after, and then you never see them again. Oh. So it's a very American um, holiday treat. Yeah. And when I first got them for my in-laws, I thought, oh, they're going to be so excited. I got them Irish potatoes, and they were like, what is this? <laughs> and I was like, excuse me. <laughs> you don't know what Irish potatoes are. You're Irish. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of them. Yeah, so it's just a funny little American thing. So, so you can get the cinnamon, and you guys can start rolling into little football shapes. 
All right, here, here they come, here they come. Oh my goodness. Is everybody hungry? Yes. 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 Everybody's yes. hungry? I heard a couple of yeses. Sophie, are you hungry? Cinnamon's right there in a bowl. Jeremiah, are you hungry? Yeah. All right, so we had two explosions out of all of our little all of our little Irish poppers, so not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> Yes, honey. All right, yeah. You can use the scooper if you want, but I think it's dirty now. So we'll skip that. If you want to just use your hands. Now, to make the Irish potato, it doesn't have to be a standard form. It's totally fine. It's very organic and very rustic. You want to just make it your own size. But you have to remember it is a sweet. So if you want it smaller, the better, because you don't want to get too sugar shot. But if you want to eat less, then make them bigger. So it's totally up oh, to you. Yeah. All right, so we had one explosion there that that one blew out. We'll leave that one in the fryer. That was a very bad little Irish popper. And we'll change that plate out. And for the Irish poppers, Jeremiah, could you hand me the, um, can you hand me the, the honey, please? For the Irish poppers, we're going to drizzle a little bit of honey on top, and that just kind of gets the heat and the sweet together. And it makes a really nice explosion in your mouth. So we're going to just drizzle that with some honey. Sophie, you guys are doing a great job. You can do two more and then we're done. Because it's almost time to go, you guys. How's the pie coming? How's our tart? Is it our, our tart doing good? Yeah. Jeremiah, you can put that other one back in now. I need it. Okay, thank you. All right. So we have to eat. And you know what happens when we have to eat. Everybody needs a napkin. And everybody needs... A fork, so we're gonna put that away. You know what, Rose? You could just, I'll take it. You wanna wash your hands off? Yeah, I think. Okay. There we go, no problem. Sophia, you're all done. So here are our potatoes. Let me show you how cute those are. Look at those. They're delicious, covered in cinnamon, and they're gonna be so, so yummy. Start turning up the heat now. We want these to get nice and crispy. All right, we got to clean up our mess. Oh my, oh my. We really made a big mess today. And normally, I completely am guilty of the mess. Completely guilty. I take full complete. But it's three of us today, so we made three three messes. I think anyway. All right, I'm gonna flip this one over. Oh, we got nice crispy there. It's looking delicious. Oh, look at that, nice. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, we've got nice. Now, the butter on this is making it that delicious crispiness. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so sweet. All right, Sophie, you want to try an Irish potato? Okay, so we have our sweet version and we have our savory version, which, Rose, we took two types of Dubliner. Okay. We took the wedges and we took just regular Kerrygold and we really beat it up with the mixer. Yeah. And then we rolled them into walnuts. This one, and this one is just tiger nuts, which is not a nut. Oh. So we did two different versions. This, I would say, are great for a party. Like, you could put them on crackers, yeah. or, or you can just really pop it in your mouth. And then these are the Irish poppers that we made, which you guys want to try one? Okay. All right, here we go. Sophie, you pass out the forks and the napkins. And I'll pass out the plate. Okay. And then we'll move on to the sandwiches. All right. So everybody can have a pop or rose. Why don't you go first? You and Sophia can go first. Since you are our guest. And hopefully it's not too hot. We don't want her to burn her mouth. So these sandwiches I'm going to cut into smaller pieces so we can share. But we surely are excited to have a yummy treat. We have our apple tart in the oven. We have our delicious grilled cheese sandwiches with the artichoke that we made. Our Irish potatoes. And the Irish poppers, how are those? Is that oh, wow. funny or hot or they are great. crazy? Do you like them? Because really, really nice. it's really hard to eat something live. Yeah. And no. you want to be like, it's okay if you don't like it. I don't mind. My kids go, ew, mom. <laughs> so we have a real show here. We want everybody to oh, the honey is lovely with it. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Okay, yeah. good. All right, so now we have our delicious sandwich. You're need a big knife, please. Sharp knife. We have our delicious grilled cheese sandwiches. This one's still on. We're going to try the Irish potato. Robert's got to wait. Everybody has to wait. Do you want to try the sweet version of the Irish good. potato? Okay. Like that. Sophia, go ahead. You can have an Irish potato now. 
That's very awesome. sweet, right? Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't need a large one. You wouldn't need a lot. Yeah. That's why I think they make them in a box of 12 so you can share with your friends or something. Oh, yeah. Okay, Rose, you got the first yeah, bit of this delicious sandwich. Jeremiah, when the apple tart's ready, please just bring it right up. Okay. We're going to have a delicious grilled cheese sandwich with bacon, avocado, mm -hmm. all of that delicious curry gold in there from the butter on the top to the cheese on the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You can go ahead and eat like that. Thank you. Sophie, you can pass these out to everybody. I don't want mm. anybody to miss out on this. It's going to be delicious. Yes, Jeremiah. We will take it. We will take it. We will take it. Let's put that right here. Okay, so this is the apple tart that we had to get prepared earlier because it takes a little bit long to cook, so. Mm. What do you want? Tell me. You want grilled cheese? Grilled cheese beefed up a little bit with some delicious artichoke. You like the spread in there, Rose? It's beautiful, yeah. It's a little bit different, right? So we're going to take, oh my gosh, look at this. Jeremiah, is this yours? No, no, I want that other, the whole half. No, he wants the whole half. He doesn't really care. Gluten-free grandma, grandma has to get food first. So she Jeremiah, didn't she didn't what? Get bacon. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Somebody needs sandwiches? Here, I'll pass them over to you. I'll keep the little one. Sophie, did you have a popper already? Let me try that. Oh my gosh, this looks really good. Mmm, so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, the heat. Yeah, it's nice. And the flavor. Mm -hmm. And they're green for St. Patrick's Day. Mm. And that spirulina didn't change the flavor. No. You don't taste any fishy, funky stuff. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's funky, but not fishy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay, this one's starting to burn a little bit. We're going to take that right off. Gluten-free dad, can you take this away from me, please? It's very hot. And we're going to cut right into our apple tart, because we don't want to miss out on that either. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a bite of the sandwich, so did you have a bite? Yes. Okay. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh, you're going to stick? Yes. Wow, that is so yummy. It's like the dip and the bread and the everything put together into one. And all the cheese is melting so lovely. Look, I don't even have a plate. I'm like a little piggy today. <laughs> and you're eating all night. She's eating with her fork. That's hot. All right, let's cut into this. What do you say? Yeah. Do you want to try it? Or am I rushing her? You don't have to eat it, but the show is ending, so we can either wait till later or we want to take a bite now. Yeah, we should try it then. We'll try it now. Okay. She's being brave because she knows that there's cheese in there. Yeah, it's something new. It's something very different, and she said she never had it before, so we'll see. Let me get a knife. I hear that in there, this little cheese buzzing in there. So I'm going to just cut you a nice slice. Normally we'd have some nice cream on the top, but we're going to time is time is kind of short. Yep. Time runs out, and we can only do so much. Oh, well, we basically had a nice full meal today. Yeah. <laughs> Those of us. Well, there you go. Apple tart. Now, I know that I'm going to just have to hand this entire plate over to my husband. <laughs> so anybody that wants one now, you better get it. All right, so don't forget we have our contest. The first person who makes something from our recipes here today and tags us either ABC Gluten Free or at ABC Gluten Free, we're going to send a prize, a basket full of curry gold. I mean, yeah. that's the gold at the end of the rainbow, truly. There's yeah, nothing better than that. <laughs> no. Thank you so much, Rose, for no, coming No, thank you today. for having me. So yeah. tell me, what was your favorite thing that we made today I so I, far? I think it was the sweet potatoes. Really? Yeah. And I guess because you've never had that before. Yeah. A something sweet different. Tooth. Yeah. You have a sweet tooth. Yeah. Now we had the beautiful curry gold butter in there, but you still see a little bit of that fleck when you're making it. Yeah. You still see that. And now if you can do it the savory version with just the cheeses, it's just yeah. a little bit different, but you have a sweet tooth. You have a sweet tooth. Yeah, yeah, sweet too. <laughs> and then the <laughs> apple tart we have with the cheese and the butter in the crust. It's going to be so amazing. I have to have a bite of that before we go. Great. Jeremiah, you took my knife and you took all my stuff. Here's my fork. I'm just going to go right for it here. That crust is nice. It's crispy, right? Mm. Yeah, mm. really good. Oh. The cheese really nice. Mm. And the cheese doesn't make mm. it weird. It makes it good. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like the sweetness with the savory. Mm. So, so we good. use the skelly in there. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Yummy, perfect. I love that. All right, well, you see whose sandwich this is gonna be? This has to be gluten free, dads. <laughs> We're gonna put it right on the plate. We're not even gonna touch it. Thank you so much for coming today, Rose. Rose. Thank you for having me. It's All great. the way from Ireland. Yep. Thank you, Carrie Gold, for just supplying us with some delicious stuff to make a delicious meal today. And we hope you guys have a great day, a wonderful St. Patrick's Day, right? Yep. Thank you guys celebrate us. it big or no? Yeah, we do. We're the parades. So. And where's the parade for you? Um, well, but I'm home. It's in Dublin. But I'm, yeah, oh, okay. Parade right in Dublin. That's like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Grand What's better than St. Patrick's Day parade in Dublin? I, I think that's know. probably should be everybody's <laughs> yeah. whole yeah, bucket list, list for everyone. Yeah. 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 So you've been there and you used to go all the time when you were little? Yeah, it's really impressive. And now you'll be home or here for St. Patrick's I'll Day? I'll be in Washington. Yeah, D.C. Do they have a big parade down there? I think they do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys catch Rose at the parade, make sure you say you saw her on the show and you want to try something delicious. I'm sure she'll have Carrie Gold up her sleeve somewhere over there. Oh, yeah, I'll <laughs> like three <laughs> Right? Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today on ABC Gluten Free. Thank you for joining us. We hope you make some of the creations that we made today yours. We want you to come taste and see how good it is to be gluten free. Thank you, Sophia, for helping me, Jeremiah, gluten free dad, gluten free grandma, and of course, our wonderful guest, Rose, for coming down today. We want you guys to have a delicious weekend, and we hope to see you soon next week on ABC Gluten Free. Ciao for now. Bye. Thanks. Hair by Satney. Makeup by Artistry. Wardrobe by Tula Boutique. Follow us on Instagram, live stream, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube at ABC Gluten Free. ABC Gluten Free is a production of AmericanBots.com. Ciao. God bless everybody. Have a delicious weekend. Ciao.